guys, welcome to my channel. This video is all about the modern luxury farmhouse that I built a couple of months ago. I have been redecorating it every now and then. This is my party house so I keep all the new items here for my friends to see it. In this house, I have a lot of extended rooms without any pillars below. That's how modern houses are built these days, right? Imagine if this extended part of the house also had a glass flooring. It will be spectacular to stand there at such a height. So without any further delay, let's look into the interior area of the house and also guys, at the end of the video, I've given the outlay or the plan of this house. Please do check it. As soon as we enter into the house, we have a common hallway which is so big and spacious. Yes, I do love big and spacious house but at the same time, I don't like to waste the space. No, I'm not a Gemini. The first room we'll be seeing is the kitchen. To get good food, we need a great kitchen workspace with a lot of shelves and latest kitchen gadgets and appliances. I got the spices container, chef pig with the menu and the other kitchen essentials from Sweet Treat Showdown and Wampus Wishlist event. Yes. The next room is the living room. This living room has square shaped seats in the corner where you can have your own romantic moment by enjoying the view outside the window. I got this apple shaped clock from Wampel's wishlist and guys, don't miss, miss any Wampel's event. I love this wide open doorways, it increases the modern effect of the house. This is a formal dining room and I wish I was able to add chairs at both the corners of the table but since mobile didn't allow me to do that and I also got this electric wooden table from the Edgewater house and this floating wash basin. Oh my gosh, only best thing from Sweet Treat even this month. This dining room also has an attached bathroom and this bathroom is total luxury guys. The first floor is more of like a common space and the next room we'll be seeing is the guest bedroom. Yes, this bedroom has a partition wall. Imagine two floor lights at the corners of these partition. That would be a sight to see, isn't it? This room has a lot of closets and dressing tables for the guests to use and also a beautiful fireplace. It also has an attached bathroom which is the replica of the other bathroom we saw. And like I said, the first floor is more of like a common space and you have your private bedroom seeing the second floor so your guests won't be able to hear the noises you make. Just joking guys. I love backyards and I just wish there was more space to add a lot of plants because I love love gardens but you know there isn't much space. On the right side we have a hot tub or a pool with a resting place near a fireplace. It would be nice spending time here on a Friday night. On the left side we have the beautiful patio. Imagine BBQing here or playing with the children by enjoying the beach view. I know. One best thing about Sims Mobile is that all the houses here have great view and this black area is the parking area for my house and I know the leaves look ugly but it gives a lot more actions for my friends to do during the party time so I've kept it here. Now we'll be moving into the second floor. As soon as we move here, you see this chessboard. My friend suggested that I should add the chessboard only here because it has a great view. So that'll be very calming to play chess. First thing we'll be seeing is the bedroom here. This bedroom is amazing. See the view there? Yeah, and it's also black and blue. I love this combination, guys. And this bedroom also has a walk-in wardrobe. It might not be so big, but still it's walkable. It's, it's, it's kind of big. See the sim standing there? Yeah. And I love this glassy door partition, you know, kind of thing for the wardrobe. So opposite to this bedroom, we have another bedroom. And yeah, this is entirely glass. Just look at that view. Oh my god, I would love to sleep in here. Imagine waking up to this scene every morning and sleeping to the scene every night. It will be so peaceful to also work here. And this room also has a walk-in wardrobe which is so huge and I've added all the heirlooms like a doll. And this bedroom also has an attached bathroom which is not very big but still it's luxurious and modern. And this room belongs to Sakura who's a heroine of the Sims Mobile. So now out of this room, we'll be seeing this door which leads to the common bathroom. So this has a urinating bathroom and also another bathroom for that purpose. And this bathroom is also huge and you know it can be used by the kids too. And I love this modern staircase, I mean look at the glass stairs, I mean it is the best thing for the modern house guys. 
In this hallway, we have bookshelves and the writing tables for the kids since we have the kids bedroom located on this floor. And this is the client waiting room since this room is attached to the office room on the left side. And I tried to keep this room as professional as I could with the things I have. And yeah, that is a heirloom guys. Yes, that is a heirloom. And look at this office guys. This is so elegant. I would love to work here from home during this quarantine period. And I've added these countertops, you know, it's where you could keep all the files and the documents. I know those counters belong to the kitchen, but then I use it as multi-purpose. And we have the kids' bedroom right outside of this room. I've added the kids' room so near because, you know, you can work from your office and also take care of your kids simultaneously. And this kids' room is not very much unique, but I tried to make it as much as unique as I could. And you can find all these items in the normal furniture store, guys. And no matter how big the house is, the kids have to share this room. This room is big enough to share it. I never even had a room when I was a kid. And this heirloom I've added as toys for the kids to play with. And they have their own play space going. So without any further ado, let's get into the third floor because it's getting late. I will call this floor fun floor because one, it has this amazing home theater. I would love to watch Avengers Endgame with my friends here. Imagine the atmosphere in the room when Cap lifts the hammer. We will literally be screaming guys. Okay, the next room might not be fun to many people. Yes, it is the gym room. But still, it would be nice to work out looking at the beautiful scenery. The workout wouldn't be tiring at all. I have added the yoga and athletic heirloom here because it fits into the gym decorative category. As you see, I have added the piano here in the extended portion of the hallway. Someday, I would love to build the house that comes in 50 shades of grey. Moving on, we have our home photo studio which has everything that you need to make a perfect YouTube video. But in reality, all I have is a small bedroom and a very noisy neighbor. The next is our study room which is large enough for the kids to study here. I have added the story heirlooms here imagining that these are the awards won by my author sim Kylie Jen no not Kylie Jenner Kylie Jane. What you'll be seeing next is my favorite place of the house yes the party room. What's better than partying to recharge your soul after a long week of tiring work? I would just love to booze and dance until I drop. All my stress of a long week would just vanish after a party like that. And this party room is entirely glass. It has a resting place where you could talk with friends or just enjoy the view outside. We have dancing area, the playing area, and as you can see, we have a very, very, very huge bar. Imagine if it's raining outside and you're so overtaken by booze, wouldn't you love to see the raindrops racing across the glass? So now we are moving on to the uh, last room of the house. You need a bedroom after partying, right? I took this bed from Edgewater House and it would really be thrilling to stand at this edge of the room because remember, it doesn't have any pillar below. This bedroom also has a medium sized attached bathroom and we have come to an end of my touring, my modern luxury house. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked my video so if you did like my video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel, it would really help me. If you have any queries or suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. Also, you can contact me on my Instagram, Gmail and Facebook for which I've given the link below. See you guys in the next video. Until then, it's Love Queen Sakura signing off.